Good morning and welcome to your Wallops weather briefing. Well, we're entering uh, winter now. Today, first day of winter, winter solstice time is uh, today at 1128 Eastern Standard Time. So we are uh, almost there, just about an hour and a half to go before we actually officially begin the winter season. Today, uh, temperatures will be right about what we expect for this time of year in the mid 40s for daytime highs. So uh, pretty cool conditions for today compared to what we saw uh, yesterday and also uh, compared to what we'll see over the next couple of days as we'll see some warmer temperatures arriving for uh, this weekend before a cold snap hits as we go into uh, Christmas and uh, the week after Christmas into next week we'll see some colder weather in the area. Looking at the conditions we saw throughout the region yesterday again much warmer temperatures throughout the region than what we'll see today. We see Norfolk even getting up to, into the 60s for their daytime high with a reading of 61 degrees. We hit 53 degrees here at Wallops. And overnight last night, temperatures uh, generally running in the 20s and into the 30s for most locations. The exception was at Norfolk uh, at having an overnight low temperature of 42 degrees. Wallops making it all the way down to 31 degrees. No measurable precipitation over the last 24 hours. And as of 9 a.m., we see temperatures generally running in the upper 30s for most locations, 38 degrees under sunny skies here at Wallops. This morning's balloon release showing that freezing level at 2,400 feet and our winds generally running out of a northeasterly direction uh, as we are, uh, look at the lower levels of the atmosphere but then quickly becoming northwesterly to westerly as we go up in height. Once you pass that 3,000 foot level you can see that westerly component to the winds and those winds ex Extending up to the 25,000 foot level, uh, we see those increasing to 62 knots out of a west-northwesterly direction. Taking a look at our current surface analysis, high pressure is ridging just to the north of our region uh, today and that's going to provide us with dry conditions throughout the remainder of the day with no threat for precipitation and really no big areas of cloudiness in store for us either. Mostly clear skies out there currently and we're going to continue to see mostly clear skies as we work our way through the uh, morning and afternoon hours today. Looking at our satellite radar composite you can see uh, no evidence of any precipitation in our region and uh, really no uh, big areas of cloudiness as well. We saw a little bit of upper level cloudiness well off to the north but mostly clear skies are currently out there and we're going to continue to see those mostly clear skies complement of that high pressure off to our north. Looking at the uh, forecast maps for the next couple of days you can see this evening uh, looking at much of the same as we'll see partly cloudy skies overnight tonight with an increase in some upper level cloudiness as we go into the morning hours of Friday. Overnight tonight we'll see those clouds increasing and when we wake up Friday morning we'll see those uh, clouds begin to stream in from the west. No real uh, threat for any kind of precipitation until uh, later in the afternoon where we'll see that warm front move north of our region and possibly spark off a few very light rain showers as we go into the afternoon and evening hours as is depicted here on our forecast map for the evening hours of Friday. As we go into the day on Saturday we'll see that frontal boundary begin to uh, make its approach toward the Wallops region. That'll bring cooler conditions uh, as we get into the uh, first part of next week and even on uh, Christmas Day we'll see temperatures beginning to drop uh, by the morning hours of Christmas but uh, as that frontal boundary approaches we'll see a better chance of some rain showers as we get into the Saturday evening time frame as well uh, but all in all it looks like this precipitation associated with this uh, strong cold front will be light in nature uh, no real heavy amounts of precipitation expected uh, for your uh, weekend coming up. So looking at the uh, next 24 hours and what we can expect those temperatures uh, will be in the mid 40s today. Average temperature for December the 21st is at 47 degrees for a daily high so we'll be right around that uh, just a couple of degrees cooler maxing out around 45 degrees. Those winds will be dying off as well as we go into the afternoon and evening hours uh, seeing those winds out of the east at 3 to 6 knots during the late afternoon and evening tonight and turning more southeasterly in direction overnight tonight with winds uh, remaining under 5 knots during the overnight period. Temperatures will be dropping as we get through the overnight period we'll see the temperature uh, bottoming out at around 33 degrees and as we uh, get to about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning expecting that temperature right around 37 degrees with a light southerly wind at around 4 to 8 knots. 
looking at the next couple of days on Friday, again, we'll see the slight chance of some light rain shower activity during the afternoon. Only looking at about a 25% uh, chance of seeing those uh, rain showers occurring during the afternoon of Friday. And then into the evening hours, we'll carry that slight chance of a few showers occurring as well. You will notice milder temperatures in store for us on Friday and on Saturday with a daytime high of 57 degrees on Friday and overnight low only getting down to 50 degrees on Friday night. And then as we get into Saturday, we'll really see the warm air right ahead of that frontal boundary as it pushes through uh, from the west. We'll see temperatures really bump up. Also see some windy conditions uh, potentially on Saturday as well with a daytime high of 65 degrees. Looking ahead to uh, the next seven days, we're going to see conditions uh, pretty warm for the next few days uh, through Saturday and then pretty uh, dramatic change in our temperatures as we hit Christmas. Uh, we'll see those temperatures begin to drop on uh, New Year's Eve on Sunday, but really start to drop on Monday uh, with a high temperature only expected of 42, and that'll likely happen in the morning hours um, before the Arctic air really arrives. We'll see the overnight low temperature all the way down to 28 by Monday night into Tuesday evening, and then temperatures probably not getting out of the 30s for daytime highs as we approach the middle of next week. You can see partly cloudy skies expected for uh, both Tuesday and Wednesday right now, but with that Arctic air in place, we're going to be watching uh, any kind of disturbances that move uh, through the area by the middle to end of next week as we could see uh, but the potential of some snow uh, activity as we get into uh, that period of time where we'll have this Arctic air mass in place and uh, we'll be monitoring any uh, development of any kind of uh, areas of low pressure that could bring some snow showers to our region by the uh, mid to late portion of next week. Well, that'll wrap it up for today's weather briefing. We'll be back again tomorrow morning at 8.15 and at 10 a.m. Have a nice day.